Living in the country that I do, the world becomes a certain level of warm and I just can't handle it anymore. I just can't cope with warm weather. As much as it is aesthetically pleasing, I would much rather have my woolly jumpers and nice hot mugs of tea. But summer is here, people. Yes, I've been gone for an incredibly long period of time. Life has been crazy, as I have said. However, I'm somebody that copes with madness and craziness and busyness so well that I'm actually more petrified that come next week it's all going to stop and I'm not going to know what to do with myself. Mm. But since I've been gone for such a long time, I thought I could have a little catch up with you guys about things in general and things that I've been loving. So as you may be able to tell, there is no April wrap up and that is because I literally read two books. I read Half Bad by Sally Green and I read Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Anna and the French Kiss, I loved. It was a lovely, fluffy, contemporary, really, really, really cutesy and easy to read. Loved it. Half Bad was kind of half formed. Maybe I can make a book discussion on it, maybe I won't. I think the time might have passed for it, but if you would like to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Currently, I have delved into the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, and I have completely read the Clockwork Angel, and I am almost completely through the Clockwork Prince. Hopefully I will get it finished tonight, and I am thoroughly enjoying this series. And not surprising like most people, I think I like this series better than I like the Mortal Instruments. Big surprise there, because everybody seems to. I have watched so many good movies since I've ever mentioned movies to you guys. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. I think for this video, I will specifically say Maleficent because Maleficent met my expectations and then went above it. It was so dark and eerie and atmospheric and I loved the anti-hero story. In fact, I think I preferred the anti-hero story better than the original Sleeping Beauty. Just saying. And coinciding with that, I absolutely love Lana Del Rey's cover of Once Upon a Dream. I think it is beautiful, it is haunting and creepy and eerie, and it makes you feel like you have eaten the wrong type of shrooms. Yeah. TV recently, I have been addicted to Breaking Bad. Why did it take me so long to jump on the Breaking Bad bandwagon? I do not know because it is brilliant. <sighs> Jesse just gives me so many maternal feelings that I didn't even know I had. I hate Walter, right? But I just want to protect Jesse with all my heart. I'm nearly finished season four. I've only then got one more season to go and I don't know what I'm going to do once it's all finished. I may cry. Just saying. I am a very healthy eater. But whenever I snack, I can snack. But I've been looking for healthier alternatives for when I wanted to snack. And I find these, which are naked bars. And they are delicious. This packet is a naked cocoa orange. I've also had the naked cocoa delight. They are also lovely. Um, and basically, these bars are made out of 40% dates, 40% cashews, 14% raisins, and 5% cocoa. And then it's also got natural chocolate flavouring with it and this one also has a natural orange flavouring. And it kind of tastes like a Terry's chocolate orange, not quite, not quite. But it's kind of brownie in texture and I highly recommend if you put it in the fridge for 5 to 10 minutes and mmm. So free comic book day was a thing and I got to go this year. I was so excited and um, it was on the 3rd of May. It is always on the first Saturday on the month of May if you did not know. And I got some free swag. I also bought some comics but I'll start with the comics that I got for free. I got the new 52 Futures End issue zero. I got the free comic book day Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah. Who's excited for the movie? I am. And then me being me, I also got a free comic book day, Les Miserables, The Fall of Fantine. Um, so technically this is actually more of a manga. Um, I will never let go of Les Mis. It will never be over for me. So then we'll go on to the comics that I bought myself. I picked up the first issue of Miss Marvel. I haven't started this yet but I'm really excited to and then to get the others because female protagonist, kick-ass woman, and yeah. Then I also got issue two of the New 52 Wonder Woman because they didn't have issue one from what I could see. So I was like, 
do you know what number two isn't too far into it that I could still pick it up so I did then I got a retro a Marvel team up um, Spider-Man and Hercules and I purely got this because I love Spider-Man <laughs> and yeah I think this this is definitely retro kind of I think it's from the 90s maybe the 80s but I'm gonna say 90s early 90s maybe 80s and then finally I picked up a Amazing Spider-Man like issue 700 or something but I purely got it because I, I love this artwork on the front I just I loved it yeah. and I forgot to say that all back issues so everything that I did by myself all back issues were only a pound so bargain also Belfast had its first MCM Comic Con and I did not get to go cry however this weekend is Belfast QCon and I shall be there I will be cosplaying and definitely it's going to be fun and exciting and I can't wait so like I said life has been crazy but next week things will definitely be slowing down as much as I'm scared about that it will mean I have more time for this in theory I make you guys hold me to it teamwork so that was a quick wee update of everything that you've missed out on recently, which hasn't been that much. Because basically, I go, I do my shiz, I come home, I die a bit. And that's my day. <sighs> Getting old. That's fun. <laughs> So that was everything for this video guys, I hope you liked it, if you did like it please do give it a big thumbs up and leave down comments below, let me know what have I been missing out on and what have you been reading recently at good or what have you watched that's fantastic and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and join our little family, you'll be most warmly welcome and until the next video guys, bye bye bye! So I heard yesterday that Pluto is being made a planet again and I'm so excited for this. Pluto will always be my planet. It will always be a planet to me. Never forgive, never forget.